Imagine embarking on a journey that challenges every notion you had about addiction. And what if I told you that our traditional understanding of this condition is just the tip of the iceberg? Intrigued? Stay tuned as we delve into the profound layers of addiction, the environment's pivotal role in it, and discover radically effective solutions that have transformed entire societies. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to address one of the most persistent and misunderstood plights of modern society, addiction. Now, let's think about this. If I were to ask you what causes, say, heroin addiction, you might instinctively say, well, the heroin itself, of course. For the longest time, that's what we all thought that the chemical hooks within a drug lead to an inescapable dependency. Yet, this perspective started to shift when I learned about an intriguing experiment from the 1970s by a compassionate scientist in Vancouver. This man, looking into addiction, pondered a crucial question. Do our environments influence our likelihood of addiction? To explore this, they conducted what is now known as the Rat Park Experiment. They placed rats in an enclosure that was a veritable paradise for rodents, complete with companionship, treats, and activities. In this delightful setup, the rats still had access to drug-laced water but here's the twist they largely ignored it. What does this tell us? That the cure for addiction might not be solely within the substance but in the quality of our cage, our environment, our connections, our life's meaning. As it turns out, the need for a genuine connection, not just sobriety, is what fulfills us and keeps destructive habits at bay. Drawing inspiration from this, let's talk about Portugal's groundbreaking decision back in 2000 to decriminalize all drugs and reallocate resources to recovery-oriented support. Rather than punishing those suffering from addiction, they reached out with empathy, saying, we love you, we value you, we're on your side. The results were nothing short of miraculous a significant reduction in drug use, overdoses, HIV infection rates, and crime. It's a powerful testament to the idea that understanding the root causes of our pain, whether it be depression, anxiety, or addiction, goes hand in hand with crafting meaningful solutions. We've been fed a story that our pain is a pathology, a defect within us. But what's clear is that it arises from our life experiences and our surroundings, calling for a response that transcends a purely biological approach. Through my extensive travels and conversations with experts, I discovered that the pains and joys of life are deeply intertwined with societal structures from our education system to the cultural messaging we receive daily. Depression and anxiety are not merely personal failings or chemical imbalances, they are responses to our environments, and as such, demand a collective effort to foster well-being. Nowadays, it seems we've been prescribed an almost exclusive, biomedical solution to our psychological challenges. While medications can provide significant relief to some, we often overlook the complexity and context of our emotional well-being. What my exploration into this topic has shown me is that the path to understanding and healing doesn't exist solely in popping pills or silencing symptoms. It requires us to understand the entire human ecosystem where our mental health flourishes or flounders. As we approach the middle of this video, I want to remind you that if this journey of discovery resonates with you, please consider subscribing to the channel. By liking, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell, you're not just joining a community. You're equipping yourself with knowledge to navigate the complexities of life and uncover the profound truths that lie beneath the surface of our everyday struggles. Now, let's talk about creating a life where we no longer wish to escape from reality but instead engage with it in its full spectrum. It involves building robust social bonds, carving out meaning and purpose, and reshaping society to be more compassionate and understanding of human vulnerabilities. By championing social policies and community initiatives that prioritize connection, mental health care, and destigmatization of psychological issues, we can initiate a wave of healing and recovery. In conclusion, we've embarked on an audacious inquiry into the depths of human suffering and its antidote. Indeed, we have miles to go in addressing the multifaceted nature of addiction, depression, and other mental ailments. However, we're now equipped with knowledge and evidence that challenges traditional paradigms and gives us hope for a brighter, more understanding future. As we end, ask yourself, what action will you take from this video to enhance your life or the life of someone you care about? If you found this content valuable and it has enriched your understanding, consider expressing your appreciation with a tip proportional to the insights you've gained. You'll find the link for this in the description below. Thank you for watching and embarking on this enlightening journey with me. Here's to building a world where we address not just the symptoms, but the roots of our collective struggles. Welcome to a pivotal moment in your personal development journey. If you're mired in your attempts at the NoFap challenge, repeatedly crashing after a short streak, then you're in the perfect spot as we're about to turn the tables. 
The real deal isn't in hunting down more motivation or stumbling upon a secret you've missed. It's about having a robust strategy in place. Let's delve into a revealing experiment from the 1970s by American psychologist Dr. Bruce Alexander. Rats isolated in cages with two water bottles one with plain water, the other laced with cocaine unanimously indulged in the latter to their demise. However, when the same experiment took place in an engaging environment dubbed Rat Park, filled with games, fellow rats, and comfort, these creatures largely disregarded the drugged water. This study shows that addiction often arises when vital needs go unfulfilled and we humans aren't immune. In today's era, essential needs like food and shelter are readily met. Our ancestors' worries about predators are history. Entertainment is at our fingertips, thanks to the internet. The core issue today is the lack of significant human bonds as exemplified by a 2019 study highlighting a significant loneliness epidemic among millennials. In essence, when you're not socially satisfied, it's effortless to fall back on addictions. To beat this trap, your mission is to step out and forge those essential human connections. If you anchor yourself in isolation, shaking off the addiction is a lost cause. You might have embraced NoFap to boost your social flair and your romantic prospects, but NoFap is only part of the equation. Its primary gift is a surge of energy, this zest, accompanied by enhanced clarity and confidence, is a seed that needs planting and tending in the form of habit creation. This is how you'll give life to your social world. Suppose you channel this newfound energy into working out and eating right. In that case, you'll witness a transformation in your physical appearance, bolstering your magnetism and self-assurance a stepping stone to meaningful interactions and possibly romance. Perhaps you dedicate this vigor to meditation. Your mental landscape will shift, enabling you to interact with a sharper, more empathetic mind, paving the way for deeper connections. Turning this energy into a project or skill could gift you a source of pride and a niche of expertise, further enhancing your social allure. Or, if immediate results are what you seek, hit the ground running engage with strangers, frequent meetups, leverage dating apps. Swiftly, you'll notice a leap in your social skills and the beginning of cherished relationships. Grasp this. NoFap's true merit is in using its momentum to craft habits that exponentially elevate your social and romantic life. Strive for relationships replete with meaning. Once you achieve this, NoFap becomes an echo of the past, and your contentment mirrors that of a rat park inhabitant. I conquered my struggles not through an impeccable NoFap streak but by zeroing in on enriching habits and, inadvertently, NoFap faded into irrelevance. This approach to NoFap is, hands down, most effective. Now, regarding habitual formation, I bring you promising news. My exclusive Habit Builder Challenge aims to equip you with all the insights necessary to cultivate lasting habits and keep them resilient over time. What sets this program apart is accountability expediting your move from contemplation to execution. Online courses often lack urgency, leading to procrastination and abandonment. But with the Habit Builder Challenge, I'll be in your corner, dedicating hours daily to nudge you into action. For participants who see the challenge through, a welcoming community awaits one rich with weekly book clubs, social gatherings, and even game nights, all designed to draw you out from isolation and into significant relations. This life-altering challenge rolls around just a few times annually. To not miss your chance to transform your life, sign up for updates. As a bonus, you'll receive a complimentary mini-course to fortify your self-improvement expedition. Folks, it's time you focus less on the streaks and more on the cultivation of life-changing habits. Don't just watch subscribe, like, and ring that notification bell to harness the full potential of this advice. By actively engaging with our content, you're stepping closer to the life you envisage. Now I want to leave you with a final query. What habits from today's insight will you weave into your daily life? And remember, if this video has enriched your life in any measure and you wish to express your gratitude, consider offering a contribution commensurate with the value you've received. The link for your benevolence lies below in the description. Stay strong, and until next time.